Here's a Fox Business alert from the world of college sports. We've just received a new report that the Ivy League is calling off, canceling all of its fall sports uh, for this year because of COVID concerns. This is from a, um, a CBS sports reporter on Twitter. So that means no football in the Ivy League, soccer, cross country, whatever sport would be in the fall. They are off and the league says that they will not entertain any kind of sports until January 1st of 2021. The Ivy League will see if other conferences follow. Now this. At the core of this is they want students to still come here to the U.S. and take classes 100 percent online. And the student visa, Maria, as you know, is you have, your presence is required here in the U.S. That's why you get the visa. If you're taking 100 percent of your classes online, your presence isn't required here in the U.S. to do that. Acting Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf responding to the petition from Harvard and MIT on ICE's new rule that international students will have to leave the United States if their college classes are completely online for the fall. Here now to discuss it, Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst. Judge, always great to see you. Uh, first question, plain and simple, is it legal? Well, it's, it's an area of the law that's been untested, Jackie. So I don't know if what the government has done is legal. The statement made by Acting Secretary uh, Wolf uh, to our colleague Maria Bartiromo is a true and accurate statement. The visa is granted because their physical presence is required. But we've never had a situation like this where people have been here and participated in the life of a university uh, and suddenly that participation was terminated either by a pandemic or by the government's behavior. The lawsuit is a very interesting one. It, it, had I been the lawyer for Harvard or MIT, I would have brought the lawsuit in behalf of the students, not in behalf of the university, because it is the students who are the one that are truly suffering. The university claims that it is suing in their behalf, but the federal courts have a requirement of standing, meaning the only person who can file a complaint and invoke the jurisdiction of a federal court is a person whose ox has actually been gored, who actually is being harmed by what the government has done. Mm. Um, uh, Harvard and MIT have been harmed by the pandemic. They've not been harmed by the government. But these students who've been told, go home and stay home, they have been harmed by the government. They have a cause of action uh, that is worthy of judicial review. All right, Judge, let me read you a quote from Harvard um, explaining this a little further. Quote, the order came down without notice. Its cruelty surpassed only by its recklessness. It appears that it was designed purposefully to place pressure on colleges and universities to open their on-campus classrooms for in-person instruction this fall without regard to concerns for the health and safety of students, instructors, and others. Obviously, Judge, President Trump is pushing for schools to reopen in the fall. That is part of reopening the economy. So it seems here that Harvard is really sort of honing in on that, saying that, you know, the administration is placing this pressure um, through this action. Your thoughts? That's actually a very good argument, because uh, when, when you change an administrative regulation or when you invoke a new regulation that changes somebody's status, you have to give notice. You have to give 30 days notice, and that, that's time for Congress to get involved, and it's time for the human beings affected by this to challenge it or to make plans to comply with it. Uh, the Trump administration didn't give any notice, and this is not just to Harvard and MIT. Uh, you talked a few minutes ago about the whole uh, Ivy League canceling uh, sports this, uh, this uh, fall. It would apply to all universities in the United States. None of them had any notice. So the Administrative Procedures Act, which is a federal statute that governs when and how administrative agencies like DHS can promulgate a new rule or invoke an old one, requires 30 days notice, which the secretary did not give. That is a reason, a valid reason for interfering with it. But still, the people suing have to be the one who are actually harmed by this, which right. means it ought to be 
one or more students as opposed to one or more universities. So there's that issue. The students should be bringing the petition forward, but also at the same time, um, you're talking about notice. There's a third issue here. I mean, you know, you could argue there is a public interest in keeping international students at home. We're all social distancing and trying to stay away from each other. Our businesses aren't reopening um, to try to keep, you know, certain parts of this population very healthy. You could argue we don't need extra people here right now if, in fact, they can get their instruction online. I doubt that the court will hear uh, that argument. That there's no question but that the president has the authority uh, to make this decision. The question is, did he make it properly, uh, and is, are people harmed by it? Got That's it. what the court will uh, examine. If you, you want my gut reaction, uh, yes. Harvard and MIT will lose. Harvard and MIT, I think, will lose. That's not to say they ought to lose, but I think they will under the state of the law. Judge Napolitano, great to see you. Thanks so much.